In this video, you'll learn how to start a new topic within your grid. For this grid, I have it named Digital Citizenship. You might be able to name some of your grids the actual class name, and then under each topic would be a different question or a different unit or whatever you want to do to arrange it and organize it. To add a new topic, you'll go over here and you'll click on Add New Topic. You'll go ahead and add a topic title. So if I want to say fishing, if you notice you have 15 seconds to 10 minutes, Flipgrid used to be five minutes long max, but they've given 10 minutes during this distance learning time. I'm gonna choose two minutes and 30 seconds for this one. You always have to add something in the prompt. You can't leave it empty. So uh, list, 10 things that you can do about fishing, okay? Um, and then another thing you can do is you can upload videos. You can put a YouTube video in, you can put an image, you could put a Kahoot. There's all kinds of different things you can embed in here. So you're more than welcome to uh, play around with that. That's optional. There's a button down here that we must press um, for the distance learning and it's called more options. When you go to that, you can give students a topic tip, uh, watch uh, brain pop video again. You can even put the brain pop video within here and then add the title. So you could put the URL and the title, that's optional. For the next part, please toggle on video moderation. This is important to do because you want students to be able to have you moderate their videos and to hide it from other students so you don't have to worry about other students sharing out any of the other work from students. Also, toggle off student to student replies. And the other two, you'll just leave the same. For video features, Make sure you click on none for selfies and video. And then for the video title, they can go ahead and leave that on. For the view count, we'll turn that off. Sticky notes, you can keep on because that's nice sometimes for students if they wanna type something up and read from it. Video editing, they can go ahead and rearrange your clips and they can attach links, but make sure the likes are turned off as well. Afterwards, if you want, you can give basic feedback, so you can give them some ideas and performance ideas, or you can, you can actually make a rubric and create a rubric and add criteria. So it's completely up to you. Afterwards, you're gonna click Create Topic. You can always copy this, but you can also make a copy of the QR code, especially if you students who have iPads, you can go ahead copy the QR code and add that into Google Classroom if you want to. Um, also, if they've already had the copy of the uh, link for their grid in Google Classroom, they'll just go to the grid and then they'll be able to find that. I'm gonna go ahead and click All Set. I'm gonna go back to my digital citizenship and now as you see, I have two topics. I'm going to click View as a Student up here when I click on view as a student, I'm gonna see how the student would see it. The student would see the main grid. They would see down at the bottom everything. And right here, they would see two topics. They would see the say hello, cause I kept that. And then they would have the fishing one. If they click on the fishing one, they would see list 10 things that you can do about fishing and then they would go ahead and record their response right here by clicking the plus sign.